All right, my people, we are here on the YouTube Straight Shooter channel. Uh, today on the table, I have my wife's H&K P30 40 cal. This is her self-defense weapon, her nightstand weapon that she carries and keeps. Um, she chose 40. It's hers. She's actually put sights on it herself. She loves this gun. I'm going to try and do something about the trigger using the Great Gun Short Reset Kit. First thing we're going to do is get a baseline on the trigger. I actually have marked the trigger, as you can see here. This is the starting point in single action and cancel, cancel. Let's check it, make sure it's clear. All clear, no mag. As I said, I put these markings of where the trigger starts in single action. The second mark will be the reset. The third mark will be actually where the trigger breaks. Next thing I want to do is get a baseline using my wheeler um, trigger gauge and see what kind of trigger pull we was gonna get in single action. That's really most of what I'm concerned about. And let's see. Not bad. 3.71. I actually have done some work already to this trigger. Um, two parts from HK parts, but let's see. It's going to get three pulls. Have a good baseline. Three point five zero. Last one. Let's see. Three point nine one. Average three point seven one. I think that's pretty good, but the reset is just horrible. So let's see if we can fix that. First thing we're gonna do. Move the slide, take it back to the first notch on the slide. Move your pin, take down level. There goes your slide, set that off to the side. Next is gonna be the back strap. Grab our pin set, I grabbed that up from HK Parts. One of the best parts. Um, punch sets I've owned fits everything for an H and K. So, and grab our hammer. Start with rear pin and the back strap. It's going to be that little pin there. Put it on the punch. So you got to move pretty quick. Through. Kind of always use my little top for my punches to keep parts. Should have been bought me a magnetic pan, pan by now, but hey. Back strap. Might as well remove that side panel so it don't slip off whenever you go to work on a pistol. Next, it's your hammer spring. I did replace this. This is probably why, well, one of the parts is why that trigger pull is already at 3.7 on average. Um, same size punch. What we're gonna do is gonna pick up on the, on the hammer spring just a little bit and push through. There come that pin. Old pin there. Hold your finger over that because you don't want it to just go flying out when you pull that out. A little cup for your hammer springs. Got a little cup there. Your hammer fits inside that little slot. Make sure it's back in there, All right? Hammer spring. All right, so next, we got to go on the inside. 
gonna take our punch and push that little pin out. Let me move this side of the takedown lever. And we're gonna push it out from left to right using our punch. under a little tension I'm gonna give it a little wiggle on the hammer and there she goes moving I think I got the wrong punch let me put down in size on the punch correct way you're supposed to go if you're facing away from the gun you're supposed to start on the right side and push right to left next we're going to pull that up out of there and we're going to start removing parts that is going to come out as one complete part actually my disconnector got stuck to it too but these two go together as you can see with the hole right in the middle, that is two parts. Now this is what we're going to be replacing. Set that all to the side. We're going to continue to use this. We also need to get the sear out. And the sear is going to be that right there. And it's really not that hard to get out. I'll use my from the other side, pull up on it just a little bit, and there she come. All right, so now we got it all out of there. First thing you gotta remove is that little pin right there. That is the sear axle, and Great Guns has included a longer one. First thing we're gonna do is pop that out. We're gonna push it out from the back side where it's flush, out the side where it's already sticking out. And set it in my block. Grab the correct punch. kind of hard it'll kind of bind up in your block once you get to moving it out kind of hold my net on let's see here let me get back on camera my bad all right at an angle and she's out of there so let's make sure we put the other one back on the same side so that it fits in there correct which is going to be the bottom side of how it's facing now And that is actually in a pin, in a little pocket with the firing pin block spring, which is gonna be that little spring right there. And let me tell you something, don't lose that little dude, you'll never find it. 
So here we are. Got our sear roll, extended sear roll pan, flip back over. Get her started just a hair. Sure, she's all the way in there, not coming out. It's cool. Now we can actually start putting this baby back together. Don't worry about your hammer dangling around in there. We're gonna fix that. Next thing you're gonna do is gonna take that and set it right back down in between. See if you can see that, barely, right in front of that hammer, with the pin facing towards the other side. Let's try to pin it just a hair more. I'm gonna be making a video for my face for my YouTube page, huh? and we're gonna set that down in right in front of that hammer. It's really not that hard. It looks a lot harder when you're doing it on camera in front of folks. The hammer full with just a hair. There she goes. It's down in there. I'm going to lose that pin if I don't stop. All right. There it is, a new piece. We are going to make it with the old one. That little dude there, and that little dude there, along with your disconnector. All right, so before I go any further, I am going to take my Lucas Gun Grease, give that dude a little old dab on both sides. Oops. Get these two little dudes together. And that orientation. That's how that's going to fit together. That's how it's going to look on the back side. Right there. Yeah. We're going to set our disconnector back in first. Against the wall over here. With the big notch in the front. Disconnector is on that wall. Got your sear on this wall. And 
set these two in. Okay, going backwards. As such, we're going to use that punch. And rock these pieces. I normally start with a little smaller one so that I can find the holes easier. Line them up. And bingo, there it went through the other side. Start back with my pin. Going back and let my punch guide it right back through that hole. just fishing now and there she went spot all the way through we're gonna finish wiggling us on through there flush needs a little push Get my punch, big punch. Press her back flush. You can see she is flush again right there. That's what you want to see. Hammer is back in. Now we'll take the hammer spring. Set it back over that. And a cup with the hump. As such, and you got to use that to catch your, capture your hammer strut itself. And we're going to push it up to the second hole. It's where you want to be. The last hole is where your actual pin that holds your back strap in goes. Once you get it lined up, that little dude will drop right in place. I didn't say she was easy to get lined up. There's some pressure on that spring. But, my little trick normally take my big punch big big punch make sure your hammer strut and all that's lined up you'll know that it is i'll use that to push up up on that until i get her lined up and she slides right in. Bam. She's back in. I got tension on my hammer. All right. We're gonna slide. First plate on. Second plate on. Strap on. Rear pin. Bump that bait. Almost back through. back in. Next I'm gonna put and be level back in there. 
I'll tape that dude up a little bit. Alright, last but not least is going to be the fine pin block spring. But I really think I had already replaced it in this one, so I'm not going to mess with it since that trigger is already pretty low. So, we will replace the slide. And slide her all the way back. Take down the other end. Take the function. All right, I didn't do something right there. Got a dead trigger. find out what I did not do right. Probably pretty sure. I think this again. All right, let's drop this dude back in here the right way now.
Try this again. Set that joker in that second hole there. Kind of stopped talking because I wanted to get back to my spot. Dang it. My Thank mm -hmm. you. Now that we're done, still got the same starting point. Now, this doesn't start. You hit a wall at the old break point. Change that there, there. See that reset. Right there, a little bit of push back 
right to the wall. Well, there it is.